Clay Thompson is finally back. So I thought it'd be interesting to go back and look at his entire NBA career through NBA 2K. Starting off with his first ever game, we got NBA 2K12. As a rookie, Clay Thompson had a really low rating, only a 65 overall, which is extremely low for the 11th overall pick. But he did have an 85 three-point shot which is going to make this super easy to hit a three with him. And in terms of difficulty, we're going to be playing on for all the 2Ks. We'll do Superstar. Okay, I do not know what is wrong with Klay Thompson's arms. Why are they... They're like gone. They're completely black. What did they do to his arms? Clay? I need you to go to the three-point line, though. Is that supposed to be a shooting sleeve or... Like a full arm shooting sleeve? We hit the three with him. That was not hard to do at all. But I'm just so confused why Clay looks like this. If we go to the replay here, you can see that they just stuck his head on somebody else's body. It just looks so weird. What is going on? But that brings us to NBA 2K13. And 2K13, a huge rating boost for Clay. He's up to a 72 overall, going up seven ratings. And his three point shot is an 87. So that only slightly improves. It's nice that Clay actually has his own player in the in this game as well. There's the three. Pretty easy to hit with him, but he actually has his own arms and body this game. Looking a lot better than last game. On to 2K14. Clay's rating moves to a 75. I still think this is kind of low for the time. His three-point rating is an 84. It actually dropped by three overall switch. Doesn't make a lot of sense. This game feels so weird compared to NBA 2K13. Clay. You need to get open somehow. I don't know how we're going to get you open. There you go. Get the ball. Oh, we're wide open there. That's got to go. Yes, sir. Let's get it. That brings us to 2K15. And they finally start giving Klay Thompson a little bit of respect here, making him an 82 overall. First time over at 80. He's got a standing three-point shot of 87 and a moving three-point shot of 84. So I accidentally gave both teams black jerseys. Come on. Yes, we won the tip off. Let's go. All right. Also, I gave the Warriors the sleeve jerseys. I hate these jerseys. I'm glad that they got rid of them. I don't know about you guys. We hit them on the catch and shoot. Will that be good? That was a good release. Okay. It wasn't a perfect release, but we managed to get that to go. On to 2K16, coming off the Warriors' first championship. Play up to an 87 overall. His standing three point is a 93, finally giving him a three point rating he deserves. And then his moving three is an 89. Play, I just need you to go to the three point line and let's just pop it. That was an awful release, but it doesn't matter. Now that he actually has a good three point rating, like Clay Thompson is just OP in 2K now using the Warriors from like this point onwards is just so overpowered. 2K17, but he gets his first 90 rating and the Warriors have the most overpowered team ever. Clay Thompson also with a 98 three point shot. It's 95 contested and 77 moving. So with a 98 three, it shouldn't be that difficult to hit a three with Clay. Like if we just give it to him. He's covered, but does it matter? No, it doesn't. It does not matter at all. With that 98-3, it's pretty unstoppable. That brings us to 2K18, coming off the Warriors' second championship. And Klay Thompson remains at a 90 overall. His three-point rating does go down a bit, though. I don't know why. It's a 95 open, 94 contested, and 85 moving. And where's Klay? Where's Klay going? He is very heavily contested. Oh, there we go, Klay. Get open, and it's a perfect release. Let's go, our first perfect release of the video. 95 three-point is still really overpowered. On to 2K19, coming off the Warriors' third championship. And Klay Thompson got dropped to an 88 overall. And his three-point also got dropped. 94 open, 94 contested, and 85 moving. Their roster this year was so overpowered. With DeMarcus Cousins at center, he was at 86 overall. This has to be the greatest 2K roster in NBA history. All right, Clay, go stand on the three-point line. Oh, yes, he's kind of open there. Come on. Oh, we hit it. Late release, lightly contested, but it still goes in. 94 three-point shot with that catch and shoot. Still, still very easy to hit threes with. NBA 2K20. And this year, of course, Clay was dealing with his injury, went into the season with an injury. 2K still had him at an 89 overall, though, actually getting bumped up one overall from last year. 
and then his three-point shot is a 95. Hey, and we finally win a tip-off this year. All right, I'll, what, is, what is the shot meter in 2K20? It was the same as the year before. We bricked the first three with Clay. Harden's not going to play that good a defense, though. Can we hit the second shot? It's 54% contested. Yeah, let's see if I can get Clay a little more open. I don't know how I'm going to do that. There we go. And there's the perfect release. That's what I'm talking about. Took a few attempts this game. I think this was actually one of the longest games so far. We got it done. On to 2K21. This year, Clay was supposed to come back from injury, and then he gets injured again in practice, which just sucks so much. Again, despite being injured, Clay was an 89 overall with a 95 three point rating yet again. And I accidentally gave the game similar color jerseys yet again. At least the Warriors have their red as the outline. It's not too bad, but it's still very confusing to tell the teams. All right, let's see if we can uh, get Clay open. He's actually sagging off a lot. Why are you not covering th Clay on the three-point line? That's literally a free bucket. We get another green there. And that brings us to our current 2K, NBA 2K22. And with Clay Thompson finally being back in the NBA playing, he's an 87 overall with a 95 three-point shot. Hopefully we can see that three-point shot go up a little and, and hopefully Clay Thompson can improve in overalls. I should win the tip-off here because I've done so many tip-offs in this game and I hit it to the other team. I literally had that tip-off one and it went to the other team. Be the board, thank you. All right, we'll just give the ball to Clay here and we're going to do a little strat for 2K22. Where you just step back and it is a green all day. That strategy is so overpowered against the CPU. They just don't know how to stop a step back. But there we go. A3 with Clay in every 2K. I mean, he's had a pretty crazy rise from a 65 overall, went all the way up to a 90 overall. And he's still at an 87 after coming off two years of injuries. Hopefully, we can still see Clay play at a, a high level in the NBA. That's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace.